Fiona Phillips confirmed earlier this week that she had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at the age of 62. Kate Garraway got emotional during Thursday's Good Morning Britain as she recalled the last conversation she had with Fiona Phillips. It comes after Fiona confirmed on Tuesday she had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Speaking with Ben Shepard and Susanna Reid, Kate said she last talked to Fiona about her husband Derek Draper, who fell seriously ill after he caught coronavirus in March 2020. The host began, Yes, because I remember in her documentary she had the opportunity to find out if she had the gene. And I believe I am right in remembering Fiona, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but she chose not to because she had to. Both parents have gone through it, she nursed them through it. She continued, the last conversation I had with her, which was only a few weeks ago, what she was doing was talking to me about Derek. Full of love for Derek, very close to Derek, and thinking about me dealing with Derek. Of course, I now think that she must have had in her mind that she would come to a place where Martin and her sons were going to be taking care of her. It makes me feel emotional thinking about how that must have been going through her mind and still is. She won't want any sympathy, Ben chimed in as Susanna added. She keeps saying, I am not even thinking about it. Ben went on, the thing that will really bother Fiona is whether Chelsea can turn their season around. She needs to get the Blues back and winning and the fact that we're talking about her and talking about this is really, really important so people understand the need to get help. He added, but she won't want people to feel sorry for her. On Tuesday, the former GMTV star announced she received her Alzheimer's diagnosis last year after suffering months of brain fog and anxiety. Despite her health taking a turn, Fiona hopes she can help find a cure which might make things better for others in the future. She said to the mirror, This disease has ravaged my family and now it has come for me. And all over the country there are people of all different ages whose lives are being affected by it, it's heartbreaking.